G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at using base method multiplication to multiply numbers in their 20s and 30s. This is sort of part two. We had a video before where we were looking at uh, using base method multiplication for um, multiplying numbers more around the number 10, but this is looking around 20s and 30s. Base method, method multiplication, by the way, is where we multiply two numbers, but we use a third number called a base, a nice easy number, in order to help us. So, what we were having a look at in the last video, which I'll put links up for, was where we might multiply some numbers like 17 times 13. And we would use this friendly number of base, in this case it was the number 10, in order to help us. Now, if we look at the base, 17 was 7 more than 10, and 13 was 3 more than 10. So, we're writing those up there, but this is something you can do mentally as well. And then what we did is we cross added these. So 17 plus 3 or 13 plus 7. So we got the answer of 17 plus 3 was 20. But because it was a tens number, we made that into 200. And then we multiplied these guys and we added this to our answer. So 7 times 3 was 21. And we end up with the answer of 221. Okay. And you can do this really, really easily in your head. But now what we're going to be doing is looking at how to do this using a different base, not 10, but now we're going to be looking at base 20 and even base 30 numbers in this particular video. So I'll give you an example. What about I get you to do this one here? Or we'll work through this one together, I'd say. 25 times 23. Now, now what we're doing is we're using the base of 20 because 20 is a number which is close to these. And... The way we treat this is a little bit different from 10, but not hugely different. First off, we look at this number here, and it's 5 above 20, and this one here is 3 above 20. Okay. And then what we do is, to get our answer, is we do the same thing. We do this cross addition, okay? So 25 plus 3, or 23 plus 5, we get the answer of 28. Now, I'm only going to write this very little because often I wouldn't bother even write it down or I wouldn't even you know, think about it for too long because we're not dealing with a base 10, this time we're dealing with base 20. So before we were dealing with base 10 you might realise that 20 is two times as big as 10. Yeah? So what we have to do here is we make our answer twice as big. Okay? So 28 times 2 is 56. So the first part of our answer is 560. That first number in our head is 560. And then we just multiply these two numbers together like we did before. Okay? So 5 times 3 is 15. And we'd add that to our answer. 560 plus 15 is 575. Okay? Do you see that difference? Okay? So at the start, because it's a 20, we are timesing. In fact, you'll see this, this little trick with the, the, the 30 uh, when we deal with uh, 30 and that too. It's just a slight modification. So I'll give you another example here. What about we do 27 times 22? And what I recommend, you might even start trying to pause these and, and do them in your head, okay? Because the way I'd be looking at this is I'd look at it and say 27, this is uh, this one over here is 2 more, this one here is 3 more. So I'd be thinking, okay, this plus 2 is 29, I'd double it and get the answer of 58, it become 580, and then I'd be adding uh, 2 times 7, getting 14, so 594. But I'm not going to do that all the time, okay? Just give me an example how you might do it in your head. But um, I, I will be actually writing these down. So this one here is 7 more than 20, okay? And this one here is 2 more than 20. So what we did is we go 22 plus 7, which is 20. Nine, and then we double this and we get 58, so 580, okay, because it's a tens number. Then 7 times 2 is 14, so we add this 14, and we get 594. Yeah, how'd you go with that? This will take a little bit of getting used to, but it's a really, really uh, powerful and handy technique for doing this, okay? So, let's give it another go here. There are going to be a fair few examples. I'm going to start varying them up a little bit. What about if I do it like this sort of one? 28 times 19. Now, this, as you may notice, we're not, we've still got a number near 20, so we are going to use the base of 20, but we have a slight difference. This one here is 8 more than 20, but this number here is 1 less than 20. So we still do this cross addition, but we 
might actually end up doing a bit of subtraction. I'll show you what I mean by this. So 19 plus 8, which is 27, is the same as 28 take 1. Okay, you see that? So we get our 27, again, because it's base, seven, base 20, we double it. So 27 times 2 is 54, so we get 540. And then we multiply these two numbers, okay? 1 minus 1 times 8 is minus 8. So we're going to take 8 off our answer. We're going to get the answer of 532. Okay? Let's do another example. These examples will vary a bit. They will get progressively harder, yeah? Uh, so let's do another one uh, a bit harder this time. Let's do one that's 32 times 18, okay? These guys are a, a fair difference from, from each other, you know? I think it's pretty handy to chuck this sort of example in, though. So we're still going to use base 20, because 20 is a nice central number between them. And what we'll do is we'll look at this one and we'll say, this one's now 12 higher than 20. This one, in fact, is 2 less than 20. And we do that cross-addition thing again. So 18 plus 12, we get the answer of 30, we double that, we get 60, so it's 60 times 10 is 600, and now we times these two numbers, minus 2 times 12 is minus 24, so 600 minus 24, we get the answer of 576. How are you going with these? So what you might be doing is you might be pausing it and giving it a go and then uh, seeing how you go with the answers. There are a few fair, fair few more ones to come out with. I think it's something you should practice a lot. So what about I uh, give you another one? What about we do, um, oh, I'll do this one here. We'll do 26 times 35. Okay, 26 times 35. So this one here is... Okay, we're going to use base 20, obviously, again. It's plus 6. This one here is 15 more than 20. Okay, so we do that cross-addition again. So you do the cross-addition. What do you get? 35 plus 6 is 41. We double it. 41, we get 82. So 82 becomes 820. Then 6 times 15, we get the answer of 90. So we're going to add 90 giving us how much? 910. Okay, let's go through another example here. You see how easy this is? There are a few little tricks though, aren't there? Okay, let's, let's do another example here. What about we do this one? 31 times 39. Now, before you start on this one, you might also realize that we don't have to necessarily use base 20 now because we actually have a number that's even closer to both these numbers and that's 30. So I'm going to show you really really quickly how you might use base 30 and how you might do this. I'll, I'll, I'll put the 30 down there and we were using base 10 at the start. We're going to now realize when we went to base 20 we times our answer by 2. When we go to base 30 we times our answer by 3, that first part of the answer. Yeah. So this one here is 1 more than 30. This one here is 9 more than 30. Okay? And then we do the same what we were doing before. What we go, 31 plus 9 is 40. Okay, 40 times 3 is 120. Okay, so we're going to get 120 groups of 10, so it's a 10 zone. So we're going to end up with 1,200. 1, okay? And then we multiply these two guys together. 1 times 9 is 9. Add these guys together, we get the lovely answer of 1,209. Okay, what about, I'm going to give you a bunch of examples. In fact, in this video, because it's a, it's a bit of a tricky sort of thing to get your head around, I think, at the start, I'm going to give you six lots of examples here, okay? Each in groups of three. Alright, so see how you go with these. In the next video, we're going to start having a look at base 50, okay? So, if you might, if you, if you think you've got the hang of it, you might try to skip ahead to that. So, here's a bunch of examples. I do recommend you give them a go. Uh, what about we do 23 times 22? What about we do 29 times 19? Be careful of that one. What about we do 36 times 
29. I'll tell you what I recommend with that one, maybe you're going to use base 30 for that one. So pause the video, see how you go with them. Okay, hopefully you pause the video, hopefully you're trying to through it, but now we're going to walk the work through them. Let's, uh, we're going to use base 20 for this one. So this one is 3 above 20, this one here is 2 above 20. Okay, so what we do is 23 plus 2 is 25, we double that, we get 50, so we have 500. Then 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so we're going to add that, we're going to get the answer of 506. How did you go with that one? Hopefully you went really good. Okay, let's do this next one. This one here, we're going to use base 20 again because 20 is a nice central number between these. Nine's nine, uh, nine above 29, uh, nine above 20, sorry. This one here is one below. Okay, so what are we going to get? If we go 29, take one, we get 28. We double that, we get 56, so 560. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a negative number here because it's a minus times a plus, and it's minus 1 times 9, which is minus 9. So we're taking 9 off our answer, we're going to get the answer of 551. How'd you go with that? Did you, fall, did you add 9 or did you, take, did you add 9 or take 9 then? Okay, hopefully you took it away. Alright, now this next one, I must say I was treating this as a base 30, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're gonna. This one six more than thirty. This one here is one less than thirty. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, uh, thirty six take one is thirty five. Then we multiply that not by two but now by three. So thirty five times three is a hundred and five. So we get a one thousand fifty. We're also gonna have to take a number off this. So minus one times minus six, uh, times six is minus six, so minus one times six is minus six. So we're taking six off our answer, and we get the answer of 1,044. So how'd you go with those? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll put the next lot of videos, uh, I'll put the next lot of um, examples up here. Let's see how you go with these, I think it's a really critical one you get your head around these. Okay, practice makes real perfect with this, especially when you start trying to work them out mentally. And this is possibly, for me, one of the greatest mental uh, sort of multiplication tricks there is. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. The next set of examples, let's do 25 times 22. Let's do 18 times 19. Hint for this one, you might use base 10 or base 20. I'm going to use base 20 though. Let's also do 33 times 27. Okay, which base do you think you're going to use for that one? Yeah, probably 30. Okay, so this one we're going to use base... Hope, oh, pause it first, sorry. Now let's go through the answers. Hopefully you've done them. So let's have a look. So this one here we're going to use base 20. This one's 5 above. This one's 2 above. Okay. 25 plus 2 is 27, we double that, we get 54, so 540, and 7 times 2, uh, sorry, 5 times 2 is 10, we add that on, we get the answer of 550. Our next answer, I am going to use base 20, but I'm, we also could use base 10, maybe you've done both, okay, I'm going to use base 20, so we're actually going to have a look compared to 20, this is 2 less, this is 1 less, okay, so 18 take 1 is 17, because we're using base 20 we double it, so 17 we double, we get 34, so we have 340, and minus 1 times minus 2, now minus times minus is a plus, yeah, so minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, okay, so 340 plus 2, we get the answer of 342. Okay, hopefully you understood that. If we have a minus and we times it by another minus, we get a positive number. Okay, the sign here is the same. When we multiply them, we get a positive number. If it's different, we get a negative number. Okay, let's consider this last question. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to use base 30 for this. This one here is 
3 more than 30. This one is 3 less than 30. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, sorry, 33 take 3 is 30. We're going to, because it's base 30, it's 3 times as much, so 30 times 3 is 90. So we have not 90, but we have 900. And then minus 3 times 3, we get the answer because these are different signs now. We get a minus 9. So 900 take away 9 is 891. Look, hopefully you've gone really, really well with those. I think your head's probably going to explode after all that. I am going to put the link up for the next video. I've put it out actually on throughout this video. This for the next video. Uh, where we're going to start considering base 50, okay? But you're probably getting the idea that this is a really, really great technique for ma mental maths. And I really recommend that's how you try to start doing it is mentally, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed that video. We'll see you next time. Bye.